Hi, I'm Lou and today I'm going to explain why the freezer section of a garage refrigerator thaws out in the winter and give you several ways to fix it. Typically freezers keep food at around 5 degrees and refrigerators keep food around 40 degrees. There's only one thermostat in this entire setup and it's right here in the refrigerator. So when this food drops a little below 40 degrees, the thermostat kicks on and asks for more cold air. The cold air comes out here and most of it stays in the freezer to keep it at 5 degrees. Some of it goes down here and comes out here to keep this at 40 degrees. Some freezers have this and it's not a thermostat, it's a damper that lets more or less air down through there. This all works fine with normal household temperatures, but out here in the garage when it drops below 40 degrees, the refrigerator part no longer needs cold air so it doesn't ask for any. Unfortunately, the freezer does need more cold air, but it can't ask for it because it doesn't have its own thermostat. So ironically, when your garage goes below 40 degrees, the stuff in your freezer starts to melt. One simple but kind of expensive solution, obviously, is to heat your garage to at least 40 degrees. The other solution is to put a little heat in the refrigerator so the thermostat asks for cold air every once in a while and the freezer gets what it needs. The simplest way to add heat down here is with a night light or electric Christmas candle. These little bulbs come in various wattages like 7, 15, and 25, but you probably won't have to go any higher than that. LED bulbs don't get hot enough, so don't use them. The next option is this 25 watt refrigerator heater, and I'll put a link in the description below. You cut off the ends of the wires and strip them with wire strippers and then attach them to a plugged cord with wire nuts or electrical tape. So basically you now have a tiny little heating blanket and it has a peel off sticky back and you can just stick it to the wall right there. This last option is the hardest to do but the cleanest look because you don't have any cords running out your door. We basically want this light to stay on all the time even when the door switch closes. Take off this plastic cover by removing the screw there and there. All refrigerators are different, but in my case, this plastic cover actually goes all the way back there and has two more screws. And this drops down. And there's the inside view of the door switch that turns off the light. Unplug your refrigerator before doing this, but you want to push in this side tab right here and then push forward on the switch. Then pry it the rest of the way out. Unplug both of these wires. Without this switch in place, the light will always be off. So we actually have to put it back in and then just lay it in right here so the door doesn't hit it. So now it looks like that. And the light stays on when I shut the door. If you really want to get fancy, you can add a switch like this, this, or this. To install, we'll start by squeezing here and pulling this whole mechanism out. Drill a hole in the side of the cover for your switch. Pop it in. There's the wires to our door switch and I've stripped away about three quarters of an inch of insulation using strippers and a knife and stripped off the ends of the wires to our new switch. I've wrapped the new switch wires on the old switch wires and polarity doesn't matter here and then I'll cover it with electrical tape. With the tape on and the door switch back in place, we're looking like this. So now in the summer months, you set this to off and the door switch functions normally. In the winter months, you switch over and the light stays on all the time. Thanks for watching.